What is going on guys, it's Waffle here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now there's some pretty good music playing right now, but uh, last time we left off, we got a couple recipes from Linus for being such a good friend to him, accepted another special request for, uh, I think it was Willy, to pick up a bunch of bug meat, like a hundred bug meat before the end of the week. We have like 15 right now, so you know we're making a little bit of progress, so uh, we want to head back to the mines, probably uh, the first part of this episode and start getting some more bug meat. I did get comments from you guys saying I could actually donate the bug meat I already have, so that'll actually help out quite a bit, but I'll still have to kill a bunch of bugs to get that uh, other part of the bug meat mission. Uh, also started harvesting a bunch of blueberries or blackberries and uh, we have like 40 or something like that in Hans right now and you know the berries are just a generally a good gift to give to people so let's definitely uh, spread the blueberries or blackberries around <laughs> and we also made a tree tap and another mayonnaise machine as well and uh, probably some other stuff but real quick we have a thing right here uh, from us dying last night basically so I guess we'll just uh, get rid of that and uh, also between this episode and last episode looks like or between today and yesterday in game looks like a lot of our foraging items have finished so let's grab everything over here and I'm going to have to start watering all the crops uh because i do want to go straight to the heckin mines whoops a silver star and gold star and stuff so there you go i already pre-cleaned out my inventory quite a bit we have the dwarf scroll right there by the way as well uh apparently if you actually get whoops that's the wrong thing uh copper apparently you guys told me if i get all four of the d dwarf scrolls and donate them all to the uh to the museum i'll actually be able to like translate or like understand what the dwarf in the mine is talking about so that's going to be a pretty cool little bit of detail uh, let's put up all the quality stuff up over here there you go and yeah we have a lot of blackberries here i'm going to keep the cave carrot in my inventory at least right now because it gives you uh 30 energy and a little bit of health uh dwarf scroll and the bug meat i might put those up at least for right now uh where would i put that i guess i put it yeah you know what this this is a chest that i come to a lot let's put it in there and then I mix these. Let's go put that outside. But I do want to. Oh, yeah. Let's check up on the TV, too. Just for curiosity's sake. We have a queen of sauce as well. Uh, cloudy with gusts of winds tomorrow. Okay, not too bad. Unfortune teller. Hopefully something good. Okay, neutral. Eh, not bad. Uh, we're going to go to the mines mostly today anyways, right? I don't think we have any, like, birthdays until next week. Or maybe it is. Isn't it this week? I think there's a birthday tomorrow. I might have to check. <laughs> we'll check that a little bit later. But queen of sauce. What do we have right now? Baked fish. Wait, don't we already have that? Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. Yeah, I think I think I've read this before. Hold on. Do we are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I already know how to make that. OK, good thing I figured that out. But uh, let's go grab the watering can over here. And uh, I, I think I'm going to start watering stuff off camera just because or like cutting it out of it here or something like that. Just because it's, it's it's so laborious and boring and whatnot. Uh, I don't want to include too much of it. And uh, I kind of get distracted and miss slots or uh, miss. miss crops over here as well so don't really want to do that right but looks like our copper over there is done i guess we'll grab those real quick and then i'll start watering all the crops uh, i guess we'll go check up on the chickens and that uh mushroom cave or something like that real quick uh before i leave also got a comment saying i have enough corn enough gold star corn to give the quality crops bundle right uh yes i do so hey maybe we can go donate that uh hopefully don't sell all the corn or keep it until next week's fair or whatever where you're supposed to like show off all your uh really high quality stuff uh, for right now, though, I guess, we'll, like I said, I'll, I'll go check up on the chickens. I'll go check up on the, the mine over there. Or not the mine, but the cave. Uh, I, I forget what we have in that preserves jar right there, but let's go check up on the chickens. Yeah, they do have food here. Uh, they also eat outside, too, so it's not really that big of a deal. If, uh, oh, man, that's a gold star egg, but whatever. We're going to get mayonnaise. Uh, and then we just have to sell that, and that's going to be free money right there. Let's go see how we have, uh, if we have any mushrooms over here, though. Uh, nah, not bad. Mostly common mushrooms, though, but uh, red and a moral right there. I'll, I'll take them. And then let's go put them up in forage uh, chest. But real quick, let me just water all my crops, like I said. Oh, yeah, by the way, I got a comment from someone saying that uh, the tree taps take about a week until we actually see them working. So, yeah, it's going to be a little while until I notice that. But, like I said, let me continue watering all the uh, crops over here, making sure I pay attention to them and make sure I don't miss any slots over here. And, uh, oh, whoops. Oh, they actually worked right there. Nice. Uh, making sure I water every crop over here and make sure I don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. We're probably going to head on over to the mines over there and actually start uh, killing a bunch of bugs and trying to get as much bug meat as possible. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit once I'm done. All right, you guys are back. And uh, I might as well forage for all the blackberries and stuff up here just to get as much as possible. Yeah, I'm going to have to eat a lot of them. Oh, and by the way, someone commented something about uh, like animals flying and running and stuff like that across the screen. I wonder if we can get close enough to one. Like what happens whenever we click on it? Because it looks like uh, whenever I... Like, had my mouse cursor on the screen, like a squirrel ran past it, it like, changed the mouse cursor, indicating that something happens if you actually, uh, in, like, clicked on, I guess. There's a, uh, mushroom right there. I guess we can get that, and we can eat that common mushroom. That'd be pretty good. And, uh, keep on getting the blackberries around here as well, because we have, like, basically no energy after, uh, 
doing all that watering of the crops. And I, oh, by the way, you guys might have noticed I had a uh, mixed seeds in my inventory as well. Planted that down too, so that's going to be great. Uh, and then, hey, look at that, Demetrius, just randomly right there. You're probably growing a lot of interest. Uh, growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Yeah, I am. How'd you know that I was just interacting with my plants? Yep, Blackberry time. Thank you, this is very interesting. Oh, he says that about, like, everything, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> let's go into the... Oh, man, I saw a hazelnut. Kind of want to go grab it, but uh, let's eat some more blackberries. What's better, blackberries or... Uh, yeah, let's get the cave gear as well. That seems a little bit better. Just to kind of get us uh, re-energized here, ready for the mines. And I do want to... Uh, oh, by the way, I looked it up. Apparently, like, the best places to go in the mines to get bug meat is level 15 to 25. I was kind of on... Oh, whoa, do not eat that. I was kind of on... Oh, man, we got double hazelnut there, too. <laughs> but I was kind of uh, I was kind of on the nose right there, guessing, like, what levels we need to go to. Oh, I actually did put stuff in there, but uh, our inventory is basically empty. I guess we'll start at level 15. I think last time I started at either level 20 or 25, so start at level 15. Maybe we could do uh, 10 layers or something like that. That'd be pretty good. All I really need to do is just come into here and try and find uh, any... any Flying bugs and kill slimes and stuff like that, too. And not get slime. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I came across, like, a purple rock. Someone said, if I see another purple rock like that, I should definitely mine it and try and get some really good loot out of that. Apparently, it's a pretty rare thing, so... Definitely want to keep my eyes peeled for that, but... For right now, it's pretty early in the day. Eh, 1 p.m. We have about 12 hours of exploring around here in the mines. Hopefully, trying to come across a bunch of, uh... Bugs, but unfortunately not coming across anything right now. Even though the thing said to heck and I think it was the wiki that I looked up. Saying to come to level 15 and whatnot, but whatever. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Let's try and find our way out of here either way. And I uh, might have to eat some more blackberries here in just a sec. Try and get more uh stamina, because golly, I'm almost out. All right. Oh man, got a geode right there. Yeah. I did get comments from someone saying uh, you know, if I keep on oh, there you go. Find the way down. That's good. Uh, but I did get a comment from someone saying, uh, if I keep, you know, is doing a lot of stuff over here in the mines, and by the way, there you go, there's a bug. Uh, hopefully I'm going to get some rare drops and stuff like that over here in the mines, so that's going to be great. There you go, speaking of bug meat, there you go. Got one of those, I don't think. Yeah, it's just a regular old rock right there. I think we come across the purple one. It's going to be kind of hard to see that, unfortunately, though. Uh, but that's the rare one we need to watch out for, not like the red one. I think the red one, or the red-ish one. Oh man, maggots, perfect. <laughs> I, I, I hate how I'm excited to see maggots now. There you go. Uh, oh, we got like one bug meat right there. Not too bad. Not too good either, but there you go. Break that. Still pretty early in the day. What are we on right now? I kind of want to keep, uh, I kind of want to move the bug meat uh, to like here. That way I can keep an eye on how much we have. And uh, definitely want to get some more blackberries here in just a sec as well. There you go. Mixed seeds. Not bad. Yeah, that's going to be another thing that we're going to get as well. I think you come from someone saying uh, I should definitely plant a bunch of like, I think it was bok choy. Oh, there you go. If I wanted to get a bunch of uh, experience for farming uh, early on, because those apparently grow the fastest out of everything in fall right now, right? Oh man, kind of got stuck right there. <laughs> so if I want to get a, a lot of farming experience, definitely want to do that. I might end up doing that because it's only uh, what is it right now? Yeah, it's the second week of the month, I guess. Still, it's the middle of the week still, but whatever. Still killed a maggot right there. Didn't get anything out of it though, unfortunately. We do have more stuff down here, including the slime and a random maggot and a flying bug. Oh, there you go, bug meat. Perfect. Another one right there. Yeah, it's going to be really tough to go from 15, right? I think we have right now. We have 40 or so bug meat at home, so we're technically over the halfway mark in that regard. But remember, there's still that other part of the mission here to actually collect the bug meat. So we're at 20 right there, a fifth of the way there. With uh, it's Wednesday right now, so we have until Sunday, I believe, right? To still do that mission. I think we still have a lot of time. It's just that we're going to have to spend a lot of it here in the mines. <laughs> trying to kill a bunch of bugs. There you go. Cave carrots. Got a lot of those. So we're going to use those for experience. That's great. I guess I'll try and uh, find my way down. Because there's no... Oh, there you go. There's nothing else there. And uh, it's level 18. I don't know when we start seeing that like swarming event. That might have been like level 25 or something like that. Honestly, now I think about it. Because we had a lot of luck with that previously. And we're in a mine area right now. Or... Well, obviously, we're in the mine, <laughs> but there's a mine cart right there. What if we're going to come across a uh, an actual mine cart? Oh, I shouldn't be chasing after. Him. I should probably uh, go the other way around so they start coming towards me. Yeah, there you go. Makes a little. Oh yeah, there's a guy right here, a little diglet guy. Okay, I guess he's gone. Okay, I guess I killed him there. <laughs> but I wonder if we're going to come across a mine cart and get a lot of coal out of that. There, we go, get a bunch of copper there. Another maggot right there. I thought he was a rock for a second. There, yep. Up to eight uh, bug meat right now. Not bad. And yeah, okay, yeah. I think uh, because we already got the coal there. Like, many episodes go- Oh, whoa. Is that crab I could pick up? It is! Nice! Oh, another one, another one, another one! Nice, that's going to be great! And, well, we're still doing pretty well on health, that's not too bad. But we can use those- Oh, man! Found the way down, that was super duper quick. Super duper lucky. Uh, I don't even know what I was talking about, just a second ago. <laughs> got so distracted by the heckin' crab rock guys. Oh yeah, didn't- in this- this is level 19, I remember, didn't we die, or like, it was like 2am or something. 
like here in the middle there's a lot of like crates and stuff and i got really really distracted got killed or it was like super late something happened i think that's what happened but thankfully it's still relatively early in the day right now 6 p.m uh i don't know if i'll still do the same thing tomorrow i might have to unfortunately is my inventory it is is that amber i think it is uh might as well eat the right white algae because isn't that pretty good at least for energy and health and all that kind of stuff there you go uh and i got a little bit right there 20 energy eight health not too bad i suppose yeah, we ran out of heckin' inventory slots right there. I think I got a comment from someone uh, a few episodes ago asking, like, am I going to upgrade my backpack? I don't think they mentioned uh, upgrading the house, but I responded, yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually spend like $10,000 upgrading the house. It seems like a better idea. I don't know. I'm, and now, now that we're playing the game a lot more and my inventory's getting full a lot more often, I'm kind of thinking maybe I will end up upgrading my backpack. Like, we're almost halfway there right now. Oh, man, there's a flying bug right there. Starting to get those guys. And I think level 20 actually is like one of those... Like, like, like transitionary uh, levels, there's nothing there. Like it gives you the pathway down immediately. So once we get to level 20, I don't think we have to worry about that. We can go straight to 21, which <laughs> there's that magical number there. We have another flying bug, boom. And we're starting to run out of energy. Oh man, I was about to say, is that blocking my pathway and I can't go down anymore? That would've been crazy. All right, eat the blackberry and get, I don't know, two, two or three more of those. Oh yeah, we get health out of that as well. 25 energy, not too bad. Uh, you know, I did get comments from someone saying something about Something about getting a bunch of energy from like some sort of seed or something like, oh, yeah, I think whenever the epic seed is like done growing or something like that to not sell it, not do anything with it, but keep it and then like donate it or something like that to some statue that's by the wizard's tower. I need to go read the comment again, but they said something along those lines. <laughs> Maybe if you guys are a lot more uh, experienced with Stardew Valley, you probably know what they're talking about. But uh, yeah, I, 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 even though we're going to get a lot of money out of it, seemingly, I guess I'll end up keeping it just so we can get. Uh... Oh, man, it's 8 p.m. already. Just so we can get like some really good, uh, like apparently upgrade, like really good amount of stamina. Like you get tons of it, which definitely makes sense, especially early on in the game. I'll definitely try and do that. But yeah, there's nothing here for uh, like, like like no crates. There are a ton of crates here beforehand, but there are none right now. Man. All right, we'll start breaking some rocks. Trying to uh, there we go. Try and find our way down. Yep. Here's twenty. Uh, level twenty. Just like I said, it's like a transitionary thing. Actually, you know what? Oh no no no! Don't don't do anything. There's a lot of copper right here. This is good. And a uh, earth thing right there. Earth earth stone earth. I think it's an earth stone, not an earth geode. I don't, I don't think these are geodes right here. I think the earth crystal. I wasn't even right. Oh, it was going to bug me from the maggot. There you go. Oh, man. Nice. I might, this might actually be it for this level, but I'm going to go back up here and skip to level 25. It's 9 p.m. right now. Oh, wait, one of the, oh yeah. It took me all the way up here. Yeah. Let's go to 25. There you go. Because I think this is the level, actually, where we started having a lot of luck with, like, uh, getting swarmed on purpose <laughs> by a bunch of flying bugs and whatnot, right? I think so. So, uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, let's go down. There's nothing here on this level, so. Yeah, I keep going down. Another Earth, or no, it's a Topaz right there. Nice. Wait, did I call it Amber earlier? I don't know if there actually is Amber. That'd be really cool if it was. But, uh, oh, wow, getting some, uh, what's that? Ancient, oh my gosh, ancient, ancient seed. I think I, ah, oh, man. This is, I don't, I didn't write that down on my notes, but someone said something about an ancient seed. If I might, I might be lucky enough to get that. Golly, what am I going to do? Green, I guess I can get, eat the green, green algae. Let's do that. Uh, get a little bit of energy back and get an inventory slot to pick up the uh, basic retaining soil. Ah, that's decent. Let's see if I... Uh... Whoa, there's a heckin'... Uh, what do you call that right there? The the purple crystal, I forgot. I can't think of it right now, but it starts with the letter A. Abigail likes them, right? Let's see. Uh, what's it going to be? Man, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, get rid of the fiber. It's not that big of a deal. There we go. Uh, Amethyst, that's what it's called. I knew it started with the letter A. <laughs> Uh, let's get some more of these over here. I'm like, if anything, we do get mixed seeds out of that, or at least we have a chance to. So we can we can definitely get some random uh, good loot out of that. So it's, it's, it is worth uh, breaking. We got a random geode right there. That's good. I don't know if there are any more uh, bugs. Down. Yeah, there's nothing else down here. I might try and find my way down. I might have already found the way down, but it's all the way back there by now, right? <laughs> let's try and find the way down now. And oh man, I'm almost out of energy. Yeah, I'm starting to feel exhausted. I need to watch out. Oh, 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 oh. boom, boom. Got him. Bug meat and everything there. Nice. It is uh, 10.50 p.m. Not bad. Let's get a couple of blackberries here. Nice. Man, I love the fact that we have so many blackberries, so many foraging items. Just get a bunch of energy back instantly like that. That's awesome. Someone found the way down. Golly. I'm going to get swarmed by this. I get slime. Uh, I don't think so, slime. I'm running away from you. Oh, and by the way, I haven't paid... I, I mentioned earlier about the purple rock or something like that. I haven't paid too much attention. I think this was the layer that we saw the purple rock at previously, but I'm not seeing it right now. And I'm not seeing the way down either. Golly. Man, we're spending a lot of time here unnecessarily. Come on. I should have neutral luck today. 
Man! Well, at least I got a geode right there. That's not too bad, I suppose. What about these rocks? Oh, there's red rock over there. I don't think those are red rock there. I think it was a purple one. And I remember it specifically looking. Oh, in the world. Iron right there. Don't mind if I do. What is that? Oh, yeah, you know what? Eat the cave. The cave carrots are good. Uh, there's two of them right there. So there you go. 1150. We're going to have to start leaving here pretty soon, unfortunately. But uh, how many, how many bug meat did we get? We got uh, 17. Not bad. Pretty uh comparable to what we got previously. Another geode. We're getting a lot of good stuff here, you guys. It's getting late. Yeah, I know. Man, I'm not finding the way down here. I'm not having any luck. Did I already find the way down? It's not the, uh, it's not the type of layer where it's like, oh, you have to kill all the enemies. There's no skull on the top left that says, oh, oh, there we go. Golly, finally. <laughs> Is there any, uh, any, any, okay, here we go. Flying bug there. Nice. Got 18 bug meat. I'm just going to go around, try and find as many. Oh, oh here we go. Here we go. They're coming to me now. <laughs> That's good. 1230. I'm leaving at one. I'm leaving at one. No matter what. Oh, uh, you know what? 1230. I should probably start heading towards the exit right now. Ah, if I can get swarmed right now, that'd be great game, but I guess not. All right, let's leave the mine. Yeah, leave the mine. 1240, I should probably leave like right now. <laughs> Golly. Either way, I'm like, <laughs> if anything, we did get a pretty successful run right there. Got a decent amount of bug meat. Got 19. That's actually good. Like, if we get, if we go there like two or three more times, we should be good to go. Like, we're already almost at the halfway mark right now. We're at, uh, wait, how much should we have beforehand? Uh, 15? So on top of the 19 we have right now, it should be 34, right? Yep, 34. Okay, so yeah, we're about a third of the way there. Not too bad, a little bit over. Uh, but let's just start heading home before you can fall asleep. I've, I know I've got a full inventory. I I'm, I don't think we need to sell anything right now. I guess we'll check. I don't think so. I kind of want to keep that ancient seed, though. I don't know if I'll donate it. I might just wait and let, read you guys' comments or try and go back to that one comment that says something about an ancient seed. I forget what it was. Or just literally look it up. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't think I need to sell anything right now. I already put a bunch of mayonnaise and stuff there earlier but let's go to bed for the night and uh hey maybe we're going to get like mining upgrade or something like that and yeah there's the mayonnaise there 190 i think that was from the man yeah that's just from the mayonnaise. that's the only thing i sold there so good money there and i don't think we got any levels right there unfortunately uh progress has been saved that was like the fastest day we've had in game like period you guys like only like 12 minutes into the recording and we're already into the day two like it seems like these days uh like these these episodes take like two days but uh nope this one's probably gonna have like three or maybe just two and it'll be a shorter episode i guess we'll see but uh we have crystals we have uh iron other stuff you know i kind of want to go back to the mines and try and get that one piece of gold because aren't we missing yeah we're missing one piece of gold right there and if we get one more piece of gold and get the gold ingot we're able to get the sprinkler the quality sprinkler yeah either that or just buy it from the blacksmith i think we're going to go over there and oh six geodes oh my gosh we're going to go over there anyways to open up those geodes. Hmm. Do I want to buy? I might just buy that one. It was at 400, so I'm like, that's a lot of money. We have one random <laughs> one random crap right there. I don't, yeah, I don't think we need that for the uh, community center, right? Yeah, we don't need that. Is there anything else here we might need for the community center? I know slime. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, we already uh, finished that. Whatever that slime uh, one was. Doesn't need ancient seed for the community center. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like anything else needs to be uh, for the community center. So that's good. So I can keep everything over here. So that's great. I think... Uh, what was it? Uh, Amethyst. Let's put that up. Unless we come across an Abigail again, but whatever. Uh, the Dwarf Scroll. Definitely want to go donate that. Speaking of donate, bug meat. Uh, so we have 34 right there. Where's the other bug meat at, by the way? Oh, yeah. It's it in this uh, this other chest right here. See, I knew, I knew it was a good idea to put those in the, uh, the like, ores chest right there because I go in that so often. Yeah, 46. Holy heck. So we have 80 right now. So we can donate 80 and get this, like, almost done. So all we really need to do after that is get, like, 64 or 66 more. Oh, yeah, because it's windy today. We can see a bunch of... Oh, and look at the eggplants. Is the bok choy done, by the way? Is that what this is? Nah, not yet. I thought uh, someone said that that was the fastest one. It might be the eggplants, actually, that I should plant down and get uh, a lot of. We have a few uh, mixed seeds right there, so that's good. Uh, of course. Oh, I forgot to put that up. Man. All right, well, uh, you guys know the drill. I'm going to have to do the, uh, the morning routine again here and uh, water all the... Oh, yeah, that's probably why the day was short or the recording was short. Yeah, because I split it into different, like, chunks or whatever here. So we're probably like half, we're probably like 20 minutes in the episode right now. Uh, but you know, I cut out all the watering and stuff with like that earlier on, so that's what that was. And I don't have any coal right now, because I can't even, I can't even smell the hacking copper. Golly. Well, we have another geo right there, so let's grab that. Earth crystal, let's put that up. Topaz, mixed seeds, I definitely want to keep that. Ancient seed, I, I kind of want to at least keep that, so I'll put that here. I know this, it doesn't really belong here, but I kind of want to put it there. 
just so I don't forget about it. Then stone, we have a lot of that. I know we need stone for something. I forget what it was. I don't know if it was the water or the tree taps. I'll have to look into that. And we have slimes there, so let's put that up as well. So there you go. And then crab. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> then we have bombs and stuff. Yeah, we have another bomb over here, right? Yeah, we have a regular bomb and then a cherry bomb. So let's keep that there, I guess, huh? Then uh, we have some foraging items I guess we can start putting up. Uh, oh, yeah. What's the, <laughs> what the TV say today? Thankfully, it's only 6.40 p.m. today right now, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, it's going to be cloudy with... Okay, same thing today, or same thing tomorrow as is happening today. Uh, good humor today, hey! Little extra luck, not bad! What about living off the land? What are we going to get today? Fish focus. Salmon. Salmon return to their spawning ground in the fall to lay eggs. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, that means that the rivers are chock full of them. You can only find them in the fall, so go out there and cast your pole. Okay. I don't know, maybe today we'll go fishing. I don't know if we'll go back to the mines. I, I don't like having too much repetitive stuff in uh, each episode. I kind of like, you know, mixing things up a little bit. So, uh, crab. I don't know. I might end up selling that. I don't know. What maybe I'll gift it to Willie or something. I don't know, because we're going to go over there anyways. And I th Surely he likes crabs, right? Uh, we're going to donate that to the museum. We're going to go to the blacksmith. Retaining soil. I don't know. I might yet. Oh, yeah, it's too late to use that. I think I think it's too late to use that if there's something already planted, I believe, right? Uh, but either way, you guys already know the deal. Uh, I guess I'll put that up. Uh, let me start watering all the crops. I guess I'll uh, harvest all the eggplant over here. I guess that bok choy isn't done, yeah. I assume that's what that is. Oh, wait, no, that's... I think those are pumpkins there. I don't know where the bok... I think this is... Right, is this the... No, these are yams. Wait, how long have my yams been done? Wait, this one isn't done. I must have <laughs> missed watering that or something like that, huh? I guess we'll plant uh, mixed seeds there. There you go, there you go, there you go. Perfect. Uh, but we got a gold star yam right there. I believe yams are a part of the uh, the, the fall crops bundle, right? Yep, it is It is bouncing for the community center right there. So, uh, yeah, yams, eggplants. I'm surprised I didn't even put an eggplant over there yet. <laughs> then the pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins, those are really the, uh, the longest to grow. So no surprise that I haven't uh, donated any of that. But, but uh, yeah, kind of a surprise I haven't donated any eggplants yet, right? But either way, you guys know the drill. This, this is going to be a common thing from now on. Let me uh, start watering all the crops here, at least until we get to all the uh, the sprinklers and stuff like that. Then it's going to be basically automated, and I won't have to worry about uh, watering everything over here manually and whatnot. But uh, I do want to focus, make sure I don't miss out on any uh, crop plots over here. So let me just water all the crops real quick, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. And I guess we'll go see what uh, the blacksmith is going to give us for those geodes, and also go donate a bunch of uh, bug meat and a bunch of other stuff. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Alright guys, I am back. I think I got every plot over here watered, except for the ones that don't have anything, obviously. I think. Someone's gonna point out in the comments that I missed one. <laughs> but I think I got everything watered over there, so that's good. I do want to go check up on the chickens, because I think their feeder thing should be empty by now. Either that, or they're constantly eating outside, because I did get comments saying that they, uh, they eat all the tall grass over here, so that's why I'm avoiding, uh, cutting all that. Yeah, see, that's still there, but oh yeah, and then we have mayonnaise over here done as well. Nice. So basically, every day, what do we get? One, I think it's 190 per... Oh, man, and then a gold star, and then a silver star. Man, I hate doing that, but uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? And I'm almost out of energy again. Oh, we'll have anything right there. Man, that's kind of surprising. I think we might be able to get that mayonnaise by the end of the day, because I'm pretty sure that's decently fast. But I guess we'll sell this. Uh, I also want to go head on over, like I said. Uh, oh, you know what? Yeah, let's donate the yam. Let's donate the eggplant before I can forget about it. But, uh, oh, yeah, what was the thing? There was something in my inventory I think I needed a lot of stone for, right? I guess if anything, I could use that stone to make more stone pads and connect up to the chicken coop and therefore the north uh, thing as well. Oh, yeah, the recycling. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm so curious to see what happens when we use that. But because it's relatively early and all the shops and stuff like that are open. Oh, worms. I see worms right off the bat. Man, it's been a while since we've gotten worms, you guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, whoops. I didn't. There you go. Hey, a book. Lost book. And we got uh, some stuff right there. There you go. There's some more forging over here. There you go. I did get comments from some people saying that, uh, you guys know last episode, I think, oh, I, oh yeah, I do have it right here. I think, uh, yeah, that doesn't work there. I think it only works, like, south of our base. That's, that's the only place I've actually seen weeds outside of our base. Oh, well, except for over here by the community center. That's another place where we've gone, right? There's, uh, blackberries right there randomly. That's kind of rare seeing, uh, foraging items actually inside of the town. I've rarely seen them. But there's a blackberry right there randomly. Uh, but yeah, right here, yes, there's stuff right here. I believe we get rid of that <laughs> little frog right there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened if I click on that frog right there. Maybe it only works on stuff like squirrels and bunnies and stuff like that. Uh, but let's get rid of all this stuff over here. And apparently it's going to have a better likelihood of getting actual regular, like both worms and foraging items spawning there. So that's pretty cool. Hey, Lee, you know what? You know what? I'm going to be nice today. I'm going to give you a blackberry. Ugh, that's such a... What? That's such a stupid gift. 
Everyone likes blackberries. It's food. You eat it. What is wrong with you? Would you rather I give you like a broken CD or literal trash or something like that next? Golly. Unappreciative piece of trash you are. Golly. It takes one to know one, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the community. Jeez. Let's go to the community center. Man, I've never heard that saying like be more like accurate than right there with <laughs> Haley. I think this is forging, right? Yeah, that's the wrong thing, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, we already finished uh, fall forging right there. I was about to say, do we have uh, something right there? But yeah, we already finished that, so that's good. But over here, oh, yeah, I forgot to bring the five uh, gold corn, gold star corn. I forgot to bring that over. But eggplant, boom, and yam. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to be until we get the pumpkins. Uh, it's 1 p.m. right now. Yeah, I'm going to head straight to the blacksmith and all of them because they close at like 4 or something. And I don't want to get too distracted. I was about to say, like, maybe I'll go to Pierre, buy some, like, bok choy seeds or something like that, and uh, plant a bunch of those. And I know there's blackberries right there, and I missed out on those, but whatever. Uh, no, nothing on that bulletin board right there. I'm kind of surprised. What's the luck today, by the way? I think it was slightly good. So I guess I'll check on that. Hey, look at that. There's a foraging item right there. I don't know if those foraging... I don't know if that blackberry was there because we started cleaning out some stuff around him. Another one, but man! Not only are the blackberries growing on the bushes all over the place, but they're growing all over the ground, too. This is really good. Uh, speaking of such, I'm at the 63 in my inventory. That's amazing. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. We also want to go to the museum. I, I, think, I think we have like four or five books at the museum that we need to read, too, by the way. It's crazy. <laughs> we have a bunch of... Uh, oh, yeah. You guys remember last episode? I had a heckin' frozen geode, and I heckin' broke it open instead of donating it to uh, the museum. I forgot to do that. Whoops. But we have seven geodes right now. That's amazing. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Cel Celestine? Celestine? Interesting. Whoa, another new thing. Slate. Okay, I don't know. I don't, I'd have to see if we have to donate that. What's that say? Wait, what happened there? Oh, it gave me copper. Okay, not bad. Not bad. I can't complain about that. Ten iron. That's really good. Wow, hopefully I get gold. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Sandstone. Ooh. Eh, three, eh, about time we get stone out of that, right? And, uh, ten coal, hey, I don't have any coal, so that's good, so now I can smelt all that iron and, uh, coal, or, uh, copper that I have, so that's good. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else there, and you know what, you know what, Clint, let's go up here, let's give him a blackberry. Thanks, period. Okay, full stop. <laughs> I guess it's better than, uh, saying, why would you give me this? Or whatever Haley just said, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> well, not ten, eh, like, like, two, two, three minutes ago. Let's go to the museum, though. We need to donate that dwarf scroll as well as read, like, ten books, apparently, right? Donate to the museum. Dwarf scroll. I kind of want to keep all these together. Uh, maybe I'll put them over here. Wait, how do we get to that room? Do we do that by, uh... Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. I don't know. Maybe we'll put it on this bottom bit down here. So if, it, if we need four of them... Two, three... Well, you can't center that. Oh, you can do it over here, though. So let's do that there. So we can put one there, two there, three, and then four. And then we can kind of have it centered. Oh, you donate these over here, too. Whoa. So a sandstone. Where would I put this? Hmm. Maybe I will put these over here. So uh, slate and celestine, I think that's what that was. So uh, let's put that. Hmm. I guess we'll put that right there. And then slate. Let's put that. Whoa, new reward. Awesome. And then there's that sandstone. Okay, just keep them ni right next to each other so I don't miss them, so I don't forget about them. But Gunther, what am I going to get? Uh, Jade Hills, okay. Wait, don't we already have that? I feel like we already have that. I don't know, maybe. Uh, let's go read about those real quick while they're still fresh in our mind. It looks like we only have two books right there we need to read about, so that's kind of interesting. Let's go see what the Cel Celestine or Celestine. What is this? Some early life forms had bones made from this. What? That's interesting. Slate. So is that like technically like ancient, ancient, ancient skeleton right there? So does it make sense to put it over there where that other skeleton is? Maybe. I don't know. Slate is extremely resist, extremely resistant to water, making it a good roofing material. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Then sandstone, a common type of stone with red and brown striations. Oh, that makes sense. Kind of reminds me of Minecraft with the sandstone there, right? <laughs> then uh, over here. Dwarf Scroll 1, yellowed scroll of parchment filled with dwarven script. This one's tied with a red bow. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're gonna get two or three more of those and then we'll actually be able to talk to that dwarf guy, which uh, right now he's just kind of speaking like Ewok language or something. <laughs> so we don't know what he's actually saying. But if we actually get all those, we'll actually be able to know what he's saying, I think, right? Or like it'll translate to English or something, I guess. Either way, Brewmaster's Guide. 
Ah, uh, to brew. Did Pam drop this or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> the rich smell of yeast wafting through a cedar loft. The floral overtones of freshly cut hops on a winter's eve. But I digress. You're probably more interested in the practical side of brewing. To brew, you will need a keg. I'll leave it up to you to devise blueprints for a keg. I don't think we have that right now. I might I might look at my inventory and see if we have that. I doubt we do, or else I would have used all that hops we have, right? Uh, kegs been, can be used to make several kinds of product. If vegetables are placed inside, the keg will produce juice. Juice makes the least amount of time uh, to brew. Or wait, what? Juice takes the least amount of time to brew. If wheat is placed in the keg, it will produce beer. Beer takes a while to brew, but it is quite profitable. Placing hops in a keg will produce the beloved pale ale. Place fruit in the keg to make wine. Wine takes the longest of all to make, but a wine made from the finest fruit is worth quite a bit. Okay, so if we put like a gold star, like grape or something like that in there, which I, you know, that's a foraging item, right? I think I, 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 think I still have some grapes. I might need to see if I have, have gold star, or silver star, or something like that. But uh, once we get a keg, hey, definitely want to use some grapes inside there, get some wine, and then, hey, I don't know how long it's going to take, a month or something like that? Get a good amount of money from that, maybe give it to Pam as like a, a beloved gift or something. <laughs> I don't know, she still strikes me as someone who likes beer. Maybe give her a beer or a pale ale or something like that, and she'll like that. Uh, be patient with your keg. I'm like, we're probably going to have multiple of them, but uh, be patient with your keg. You'll know it's finished when it's perfectly still, and only drink in moderation, or you'll surely regret it. Yeah, everything in moderation, right? As long as you don't drink more than uh, you can handle, and especially if you don't drink and drive, right? That's terrible. Although, you can't really drive here. There's no streets, and the only street there is, there's a broken bus there, so it's kind of blocking the path. <laughs> Anyways, Mysteries of the Dwarves. How, how good timing right here of me to, to find a book about dwarves right here, right when we get the dwarf scroll. The dwarves call themselves some Smaluano? <laughs> Smaluano? Which translates to sky people. Oh, so they're ancient aliens, huh? <laughs> An odd name for a group that lives deep underground. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, another mystery of the dwarves is the advanced technology they sus- Really? Are they actually ancient aliens? Advanced technology they supposedly possess. Evidence such as this had led me, despite the ridicule of my colleagues, to propose a new theory. I believe the dwarves aren't remnants of a once advanced civilization whose interplanetary vehicle crashed on this planet long ago. This is literally a book written by me. <laughs> like, I literally just earlier on, I was like, oh man, are they ancient aliens? And this guy just goes on to say, yeah, they were ancient aliens. <laughs> I propose that this dwarvish spaceship bore down deep underground, and over time, the dwarves became adapted to their new underground environment. My colleagues ask, why didn't they come above ground and live on the surface? Perhaps their old planet had a thicker atmosphere that protected them from stellar radiation, and they simply could not survive in our sunlight. That would explain why they only surface at night to take what they need from our houses. Really? Does that actually happen? Like, do you actually, like, miss it? Do, do I actually have, like, random things missing from my house that I never realized were missing? Just because I have so much stuff and I'll take, care, like, inventory of it? <laughs> I don't know. That seems like an M. Jasper. Wait, who? That name sounds familiar. Who? Did this guy write another book? I don't know where it would be. M. Jasper. I kind of want to read it. Oh, yeah. Didn't he write the book? Or was it something about, like, a, a fruit from the sky or something? Yeah, here we go. Wait, what is this? A study on diamond yields. Well, no, this guy gave a pretty, like, good book right here about finding diamonds and, like, the frequency of diamond formation and whatnot. I don't know. This guy, this guy's kind of all over the place talking about ancient alien dwarves and <laughs> then also talking about getting diamonds and stuff. I don't know. But then again, I was kind of uh, proposing the ancient alien theory about dwarves as well. <laughs> I don't know, am I the ghost writer for, for M. Jasper? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, it's been a little while since we've come down here to the to the beach. Uh, so let's go down here, Forge, as well as uh, while we're in the area. Let's go down there, let's go put a bunch of, like, what do we have, 80 bug meat? Yeah, 80 bug meat inside of the barrel next to Willie's thing, right? Which is that one right there, yeah, it's got the big foot. It didn't look like that before, it must be different because of the, uh, the mission we have right now, but... 80. Boom. So there you go. So this should be like, yeah, that like strongly outweighs this one right here. So yeah, we'll be able to finish this one a lot quicker than this, unfortunately. But it's probably going to take us a couple more days of us. Uh, I don't know. We might, I might go back to the mines right now. It's Thursday right now. So I don't know if I go back there and get like another 15 right now, we'd be at basically 50. So we'd be basically at the halfway mark. Then if I go there and tomorrow on Friday and get another 15, we'd be at 65. 
Saturday, we'd be up to 80. Then Sunday, if I'm lucky, we can get to 100. Yeah, I guess every day I'd have to go to the mines, but... Hmm, it's rather late right now. Um, I don't know if I could sell anything to Pierre in them. I don't know. I might, I might, ju I don't know. Because we only got 19 for the, well, then again, we seem like we had a lot more luck whenever we went to level 25. So maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe next episode, I'll go back to the mines. I'll start at level 25 and then we'll have a lot more luck that way. Right. Hey, there's a penny, right? Uh, I think so. Like, I can't give her anything right now, man. Can't walk right there. There we go. Uh, let's give you Blackberry. Thanks. This looks nice. Well, hey, at least people are appreciating my work and efforts and stuff. <laughs> and there's Pam right there going straight to the bar. And I cannot go in the pee. Well, I can, but he's closed. He's shopping at his own shelves. What? I think I think what he's doing, he's taking inventory or something like that. Right? Uh, oh, yeah. It looks like he can donate stuff there as well. I keep forgetting about that box. I don't know if I want to do that. It might be a little bit too early in the series for me to donate things to Pierre. Oh, yeah, and by the way, yeah, there's more stuff over here, too. For us to break, like weeds. I guess, yeah, you know what? Let's go south of our break. South of our base. And I guess we can go uh, get rid of a bunch of stuff over there. And hopefully more foraging things will actually spawn down there as well, right? Uh, weeds and whatnot. And hey, there's weeds over here in these people lawn. Whoever these are. I forget who lives here. But uh, there we go. And there's a frog. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of these. It's not tall grass or anything like that. We're only going to get fiber out of it, which is good. And hey, mixed seeds too. Not too much though, but still getting it, right? Then we have this right here. I'm <laughs> relatively low on energy, too. Yeah, I don't know. This episode is, like, all over the place. Really, like, it was mostly in the mines, and then we're doing a bunch of heckin' reading about ancient alien dwarves. <laughs> oh, what in the world's that? Is that? That's a skeleton in the window. I was wondering what that was. Holy heck. Who lives there? Leah, I think? She has pretty good decorations. See, I really want to decorate my heckin' house. But I'm like, we, we don't have anything to decorate it with, right? So that kind of sucks. But you guys did say to come down here south of our base or, you know, just outside of our base in general and just uh, get rid of a bunch of stuff, which I guess I'll just start doing right now. And remember, whenever we go back to our base, which we should definitely do here pretty soon, uh, we do have that pathway that goes straight into our base with uh, with stone paths and stuff like that. So we won't have to worry about, like, cutting down trees and stuff like that to open up a pathway. So that's pretty cool. But uh, oh no, who knows? Maybe next episode when I come down here, if I remember to come down here, we'll actually have a bunch more uh, like actual foraging items and stuff like that. Stuff like that down here instead of a bunch of weeds and tall grass and whatever. Well, it's pretty much only weeds, but no tall grass down here. Uh, but so far, yeah, I've, I'm not seeing like any blackberries, hazelnuts, anything. Well, the only blackberries I'm seeing are in the in the bushes, but you guys know what I mean. I'm not seeing any just kind of loose blackberries, hazelnuts, or anything like that. So I assume if you guys are right, we'll come down. Oh. Whoop. Did not mean to pick up the painting. <laughs> I assume we'll come down here and we'll have a bunch of hazelnuts and whatever else down here. So that'll be pretty cool. Now, isn't this where the wizard is? I'm kind of curious about what that person said. Wait, no, I think the wizard is a little bit more north, I believe, right? Uh, but I'm curious about what that person said about something near the wizard's house. I don't know if I'm even able to access it right now. Maybe I have to go there during a specific part of the year after a certain like event happens or something. I don't know. Uh, man, look at all these. Yeah, okay, that's where the wizard is right there. So I think they said it was north of the wizard. It was like over here. Oh, man, there was a blackberry over there. I missed, man. Oh, there's more over here. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, man, there's even more. Golly. There's tons of it. Now, is this what they were talking about up here? Because I think... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I remember they said something about I'd be able to break that big log right there. Once I have the steel or the iron, I, I don't know if there's a difference between the two, but they said... Looks like you don't need an uh, upgraded axe to destroy this gnarled old log. Yeah! Then if I break that, what happens? Do I just get access to this big forest over here? I think so. Interesting. Uh, but I think they said steel or iron. Or maybe that's just literally the same thing right there. Oh yeah, by the way, we need to come back here on Saturday or uh, Friday. Which is tomorrow, actually, in-game. Uh, we'll actually be able to buy stuff from that one person. But it's 9 something p.m. right now. I don't think we went to the... Uh... Did we go to the... Mushroom cave? I don't think we went to a mushroom cave today, so I definitely want to go check up on that. Then uh, maybe maybe I'll start selling a bunch of stuff uh, that we have, especially like stuff that's like Silver Star, Gold Star, that we don't need. And I do want to keep some stuff for that event next week. Because uh, remember, there's like that fair or something like that, and you're supposed to like show off all your really cool items, and you'll get like graded on them as well. I did read a comment from someone <laughs> saying, uh, oh, by the way, man, so many things are popping in my head right now. You guys, it's insane. Uh, but someone said something about... Uh, bring Marnie a bunch of amaranth. Oh, I forgot to do that. 
I wanted to get a good relationship with Marnie so I can go inside of her house and get heckin' <laughs> Mayor Lewis's purple pants out of her heckin' bedroom there. And then, uh, apparently whenever you, that fair happens, and you use the purple pants as, like, a decoration for the fair, or, like, to show off, then, like, there's going to be a really cool event or some funny event that's supposed to happen whenever you do that. So I'm very curious about that. It's a little too late to go buy stuff from Pierre right now, unfortunately. Amaranth seeds. Uh, so that kind of sucks. So... I don't know how long they take. Hopefully it don't take more than a week. Hopefully it takes a lot less than a week because that's probably like three or four days from now too. It might be a little too late to do that. I might, I might have to actually just go give her like, I don't know. What, what does she like? What, what, what do we know that she already likes? Uh, what, 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 what relationship do we have with her, by the way? There's Marnie. Okay, so I think we got two stars or two hearts. That's, that, that's what we want to get to. And we don't know. Yeah, we don't know what she actually likes. So... Tomorrow, definitely want to go over there and give her like a Blackberry or something like that. Try and get a good relationship with her and then get access to her bedroom. Uh, but for right now, uh, you know what? Yeah, let me let me go sell like the seashells and stuff. Let's, let's start selling a bunch of random stuff that I'm in him tour right now. Uh, so that would be that Blackberry. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. And then just the clams and stuff. Yeah, I definitely will get rid of that. Common mushroom. Get a little bit of money out of that. Crab. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to give that to Willy. Whoops, man. Hazelnuts. Uh, Silver Star Hazelnuts. I guess I'll sell that. Get some money out of that. There you go. I'm like... If I'm going to save up for ten thousand dollars to either upgrade my house or get the upgraded backpack, definitely want to at least get started with that, right? Uh, so wait, let's see. We have this. Oh, we we don't have this actually. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? Let's get rid of this. Oh, I pet my dog. Oh, I forgot to pet the chickens and stuff. Whoops. Wait. How do I get rid of this painting right here? Oh, never mind. There you go. <laughs> then we put this here. I don't like how it's like right next to the thing, but whatever. So there we go. Uh. Oh, I can actually put this over here, right? Yes. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Uh, is there anything else I want to take out my inventory fiber? I guess we'll put that up over here, but Zongus is in the way, unfortunately. I guess it's not too late to go pet the chickens, right? We can just go to the chicken coop, and they're probably inside there, ready to, uh, to be pet. Can I open this up? Oh, I can't open up that chest specifically. Man, Zongus! Uh, I guess I'll go plant the, uh, 1150. Yeah, we have enough time. I guess I'll go plant the mixed seeds as well. And, what else was I doing? Oh, yeah, smelting the iron. And I couldn't get the coal right there, but there you go, smelting the iron. And what am I doing right here? We'll do this. There we go. Do this. So right there where that uh, that torch is, that's where I kind of want to put another sprinkler. I did get a comment from someone saying, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get the sprinkler, unfortunately, during this season. I'll probably have to wait until next, like, spring or something like that. So that kind of sucks. Might as well get some fertilizer if I have some. Nah, I've got some right there. So that's good. It does make sense to use it over here, but it does not make sense to use the fertilizer over there for the foraging items. Uh, but we have a pretty good amount of mixed seeds, so might as well actually start using these. And 13, yeah, let's get these go over here. There you go. I don't know what these are. Maybe you guys know what they are just by the shape of the seeds whenever I plant them. If you guys are like that much of starting value, if you can't even can, like, I don't know, they might just be different pictures for like the same crops or sprites, whatever. Uh, but either way, let's just water everything over here. I don't know, some of them, some of them look like they might be different enough to actually symbolize what they actually are there. I don't know. Either way, is there anything else I want to get done real quick, though? Oh, yeah, I said I wanted to sell more stuff. Uh, it's 120 right now. I guess I could pet the chickens, and I guess I'll be it, huh? <laughs> so, you gotta get rid of that. 130. I don't think we have enough time. Yeah, they're inside of the coop and everything. I might as well just go to bed. And, um, yeah, I'm not gonna sell anything else. Okay, whatever. Let's go to bed for the night. Then I guess we'll end off the episode right here. Got a decent amount of work done, especially with the mines earlier on. Getting a lot of work done there, and then donating a bunch of bug meat earlier as well. Getting almost a grand right there, too. Get a uh, 62 for the Silver Star Clam. 25 for each, or just the only Silver Star Blackberry. 50 for the two regular clams. Oh, wait, no, for each regular clam right there. 60 for the Gold Star Common Mushroom. Oh, I forgot to go to the Mushroom Cave. I even brought it up, too. Then, uh, 100, 112 for each Silver Star Hazelnut. Not bad. And 75 for the Gold Star Clam. And, of course, 190 for each Mayonnaise, which, oh, yeah. If it went to the Chicken Coop right there, I bet the Mayonnaise would have been done. And I could have sold it right there, but whatever. Uh, hindsight, 2020, all that kind of jazz, right? <laughs> and now as long as it's out of the way, now we can actually come over here and get the, uh... Oh, yeah, I, I guess we're going to end the episode off right here, so... We won't have the ability to actually, uh... Ev everything I do right now won't save anyways. And then all that's done right there, too. Cool. More eggplants are done. I don't know where in the world... Oh, and there's another yam that's done. I don't know where I... Where did I put the bok choy at? Oh, no, we have... Oh, we know... Oh, yeah. It's one of those crops where you harvest it and... It's just gone. Yeah. So we, we already had bok choy. It's just as gone a long time ago. Anyways, uh, hello, friend. And I never replanted, by the way. So I definitely wanted to go do that. Because apparently it 
uh, grows pretty fast, just like that one guy said. So I guess we'll get a bunch of that going. Hopefully get a lot of farming XP and whatnot. But uh, hey, looks like our friend Linus has given us another gift. He's such a good friend. Hello, friend. The mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share you. Uh, I'd like to share my good fortune with you, Linus. And he gave us a large mouth bass. Ooh, that's community center stuff right there, you guys. Where is that? Yes, it is. Awesome. Popular fish that lives in the lakes. You know, I got a count last episode talking about Linus. There was that cutscene about Linus like bathing in the the lake and apparently he was completely and utterly nude so <laughs> i didn't notice that he was skinny dipping in the lake i'm like i wasn't looking but still <laughs> i guess someone was looking but i guess he was completely naked it's not like i could tell though but uh, yeah the mayonnaise is done over here we got two more eggs i don't know it doesn't make sense to get more chickens right now because aren't they like 700 we, we could definitely afford more chickens i don't know maybe let me know in the comments down below should i buy two more chickens because, like, we already have one brown, one white. So maybe we can get one more brown, one more white. And then we just get more eggs and therefore more mayonnaise and therefore more money. Or is two, like, the magical number? I don't know. And by the way, I think we're able to upgrade the coop. So maybe we'll be able to get, like, six and then eight and stuff like that here in the future. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. But for right now, I definitely have to end off the episode right now before it hits, like, the hour-long mark or something like that. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Looks like we have a couple of chanterelle mushrooms over here to look forward to next episode. Speaking of such, so that's going to be pretty good. I believe someone liked that. Like someone wanted it or it was for the community center or something like that. I remember seeing something about it. Definitely want to look at that. And then, yeah, I definitely want to give the... Uh, quality corn or something like that next episode <laughs> i need to write that down in my notes so i don't forget but <laughs> until then thank you guys all very much for watching and i'll see you guys here next time with some more stardew valley oh bye there oh.